Timmy told everyone he was in monk mode. No distractions, no friends, full focus. But after a few months, no progress, no projects, no job offers. Just an endless cycle of motivational videos and fake productivity. Meanwhile, Peter also disappeared, but not to watch YouTube all day. Instead, he built one small AI project a week. He studied for just an hour every day, but every session stacked like compound interest. And now he's unrecognizable. Timmy disappeared and came back the same, Peter disappeared and came back successful. Which one are you choosing? My name is Dev and in the span of just a few months, I went from only knowing the basics of AI to building a full-blown portfolio. Ultimately, I got offers from companies like Goldman Sachs and Amazon. And the secret is what I and many others call monk mode. In this video, I'll break down the exact routine you need to follow for just a few months. First, we'll go over the rules for monk mode. Second, we'll go over what I call the one hour rule and third we'll go over how to balance your relationships and other parts of life when you're in this phase stay tuned for the entire video because your career and social life literally depend on it So there actually are no rules for monk mode. Most people waste months debating, should I learn PyTorch or TensorFlow? Should I build a cat versus dog classifier or fine tune in LLM? But none of that matters. PyTorch Peter got the results he did because he just focused on building. Some weeks he read research papers and re-implemented the ideas. The other weeks he built more practical projects and fine tuned open source LLMs. Timmy on the other hand spent hours watching roadmap videos, but he never actually got started. The truth is, both theory and practical application are important, but when you're starting out, the only thing that matters is literally just getting started. Pick one of them and get going. Don't obsess over any rules for monk mode, because a few months from now, no one's going to care about how optimized your roadmap was. They're going to care about the projects you've actually built. So you don't need 12 hour grind sessions. That's completely overkill. You don't need to drop out of school or quit your job. You just need an hour of deep work every single day. Timmy thought he had to study AI all day to make any progress, but because he gave himself all the time in the world, he never made any progress. He was never really working. Those 12 hour days, they were filled with scrolling Twitter, checking Discord, and switching between five different tasks at once. Peter, on the other hand, locked in for just an hour a day with zero distractions. All devices on Do Not Disturb focused on coding. No wasted time, and that one hour a day compounds. It's 30 hours in a month. An hour a day for three months is over 90 hours. That's enough to master the fundamentals, build projects, and land a real job offer. It's not about working more hours, it's about working better. Corny, I know, but it's reality. And the best part about this strategy is that you'll still have time to live your life. This is the exact approach that I used when I was building my portfolio, and if I had to start over, I would do the exact same thing again. The one hour rule let me still enjoy school, make some memories with my friends, and not regret anything. I even developed a poker addiction in the process, but that's a story for another time. Finally, I want to remind you that every aspect of your life matters. A lot of people think they need to sacrifice everything, fitness, relationships, even basic social skills until they make it. They tell themselves, I'll get in shape once I land the dream job offer. I'll start dating once I'm successful. I'll fix my sleep and diet after this next exam. But the truth is, if you ignore your health and relationships now, you'll struggle to rebuild them later. You see, PyTorch Peter didn't just disappear into the world of AI. He trained his mind and his body. He made time for fitness, eating healthy, socializing. Because success isn't just about building AI projects and landing your dream job offer. A strong body gives you more energy to grind. A strong social circle will give you more connections. And both of these things keep you sane while you're grinding. Timmy, on the other hand, stayed locked in his room, skipping all his workouts, ignoring all his friends, convincing himself that he was on the right path. But even once he finally made it, after all those 12 hour grind sessions, he was miserable. He had no life outside of work, no confidence, and no health. I know it sounds corny, but success isn't a destination, it's a process. And that process should include staying fit, building relationships, 
purpose and enjoying life along the way. Because three months from now, you don't just want to be better at AI and have a great portfolio. You want to be unrecognizable in every way possible. And if you'd like personal guidance on this journey of becoming unrecognizable, check out our accelerator. It's linked in the description. We've helped thousands of students land their dream internship and job offer. We have some of the best success stories in the industry. If you're looking for another video to watch, check out this one where I break down how to get ahead of 99% of students. You don't want to miss it. I'll see you in the next one.